Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Keep watching for an Instagram filter face. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you like what you see, if you like seeing me. Starting off today, I am doing an Instagram filter makeup look. This was inspired by Kylie Jenner's overuse of the makeup filter. Sweet baby. And I'm using as a matte and poreless Fit Me Maybelline Concealer in the number 122. It's darker than my skin tone, which is great because that's what I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? After I blend that all over into my face, also, I probably should have used a primer, so don't be like me. Do as I say, not as I do. Add a primer to your face. That way your makeup will last all day. I'm using an e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in matte finish and the color I'm using is light peach. This is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer which is great for using as a highlighter just to give that extra whiteness to the skin because a lot of the Instagram filter, what it is, is it's a play on light and dark. So it is accentuating the lights and the highlights of your face while diminishing the darker contour of your face. So this is a really fun concealer. It's in a really light color, which I really like. Notice I put it under my eyes. I also put it on my forehead, down at the bridge of my nose, and on my jawline. I did that just because I don't really have a jawline. I don't really have a forehead. <sighs> I mean, my forehead's there, but do I really have one? I don't know. But definitely want to brighten up the under eyes no matter what type of face you have. And you definitely want to put a line down the center of your nose no matter what type of nose you have. Even if you don't have a nose, you still want to do that. Now I'm going to blend that in with the exact same brush. The brushes I'm using are Real Techniques brush. I got these on, during the holidays from CVS. I believe they were $2 for a set of two. I mean, what a deal. I mean, really, can you pass that up? I think not. Now I'm going in with this, cons this palette. Sorry, I'm losing my words. I don't know where they're going. I guess they went out the window. It's a Stila Cosmetics palette in Happy Hour. But if you have a cool toned palette from any company feel free to use it i tried to show you what the shades look like but just to let you know there is a very light shade that i put on the center of my eye and then i put a um you know what this is hard to explain just try to watch the video <laughs> I also put some scotch tape on the sides of my eyes. The reason I put some magic tape on the side of my eyes is because it will help lift the eye, which is what all those filters do. They lift the eye, they add a eyelash to it, and that's what makes your eyes look so lifted. All right, here I go in with that transition color. I decided to put a, you know, it's really hard for me to explain colors, but I think you can see what it is. There's a, yeah, see, you see the color. I'm putting that darker black, it is actually black, on the just outer V of my eye and down where I'm going to put the liner later. That way it looks like I smoked out my liner even though I'm not going to smoke out my liner because I'm using a liquid liner. And just buff that in. The key to looking natural is to blend, 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 and layer. Blend, 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 and layer. Imagine you're working with acrylic paints on a canvas. Blend, 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 and layer. <laughs> Now I'm going in with a fluffy clean brush and buffing that out just to look a little cleaner. Like I said, blend, 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 blend. <laughs> yeah, I decided to go with a super neutral look because that's what Kylie mostly does. She does, she does the neutral eye looks, which is just like the neutral palette. I assume that she has. I'm not using her palette. Why am I talking? I need to shut up. Okay. So now I decided to fill in my eyebrows. To fill in my eyebrows, I'm using another e.l.f. product. And this is great, you guys, because e.l.f. is super affordable, right? So the e.l.f. eyebrow, it's just an e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in the color taupe. I've actually, in the process of doing makeup videos almost every day, have used up almost all of my eyebrow pencils. <laughs> but yeah, put that eyebrow pencil on that face. You know what to do. Put that down. I'm keeping my lines on my eyebrows very clean. I am not going outside the line. So it does look like a painted on eyebrow, which is great for 2021 because that's what we're all about. We're all about 
that painted on eyebrow. We want our edges crisp and clean. Now this is the Brow Wow in, yet again, e.l.f. It's an e.l.f. Brow Wow, which is basically just a tinted brow gel that you can put over your eyes just to make your eyebrows a little darker, which is what I did with my eyebrows. I made them a little darker. Now I'm going in with the teeniest tiny bit of concealer, and you'll see that I at one point put a little too much concealer on my eyes, so what I did was I wiped off that excess concealer onto my hand, the back of my hand, and then went back in to clean up those brows. This does two things. It cleans up the brows and it adds a white pop to under the brow, which gives the effect of a lifted brow. Going back in with some extra white concealer down the bridge of my nose. This was probably not necessary on account of I do go in with that highlighter, but feel free to do as I say, not as I do. Taking the tape off, and it really did not remove much makeup, but I'm going to go in with my brush anyways just to make sure I am covered evenly. Now I'm going in with that transition shade, which was the medium color, and I'm putting that on my lower lash. And now going in with the black. I like this Kat Von D liquid liner. Why do I like it? Because it was free. It was a birthday gift. But you feel free to use whatever black eyeliner you enjoy. Now this is important. When you put on your black eyeliner, make sure your eyes are open and you are looking straight ahead at the mirror. And you just put the finest line. We're not doing a big eyeliner. We're just doing a very small, thin eyeliner. Take your time with this. I also want to add something that my eyes are slightly hooded, which means that when I open my eyelid, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but my line is crooked when my eyes are closed. But when my eyes are looking at you, my line looks straight, and that's what you want. It's much better to have your line straight when you're looking at someone than to have a crooked, <laughs> crooked wonky eye liner. <laughs> oh boy, my jokes. My jokes. I just make myself laugh. Now I'm going in with the KKW. You guys, I am loving the KKW contouring sticks. This is in the shade light medium. And I'll tell you why I love it. One, it is very easy to use and it blends really well. I'm using the darkest shade, creating two lines down the bridge of my nose and going in with a very dense teeny tiny brush and buffing that out. Very important to use a teeny tiny brush so you don't lose those lines. The key to making a small nose is having defined lines. You need that defined white line down the center. So I'm buffing that in. Now I do want to add a disclaimer here and that is to say I did get my light to medium contour sticks 50% off at Ulta. So would I buy it pay full price? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I think you could use a shadow, you could use a bronzing powder, you could use a darker concealer if you want. Go ahead and go out there and buy a dark concealer. Use that to line your nose. Now I'm putting the line on the side of my face and on my forehead. The side of my face, here's something interesting, right? So if I was to stop right now and leave the house, you would say, what is on her face? Is she growing a beard? Growing half a beard? We don't know. But the key to contouring is layering, just like with the eyes. You want to buff that in and layer it. Buff that in and layer it. It's hard to explain, but it's kind of like if you were an artist and you were blending colors, but then you wanted a little bit more definition, what do you do? You add a little bit more black to your color and then you go in and you make those spots darker and darker. Or if you're lightening up the area, you add a little bit more white. So it's the same kind of idea, it's just shading. So build, 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 build. I think I also go in with this NARS Laguna powder, which I have to add, I got for free from Sephora as a birthday gift. I would not pay full price for NARS Laguna bronzer, although it's very nice. It's very matte bronzer, really good for contouring. 
going in with a brush and just adding layers. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the lay I'm putting the color where I want the deepest, darkest shadow on my face. Then I am blending it out from there. But every time I blend, I am covering less surface area. See, now I'm putting it in, I am barely moving my brush around, just barely moving it around. And you'll see I'll go in with the dark color again and again and again. Because I think the key to this look is the contour of the cheeks. I mean, I think that's what works the best on me. But now I notice that I wasn't getting enough cheekbone and I needed more cheekbone. So I'm moving that contour powder and I am placing that across my lips. But I'm leaving my jawline white. I'm leaving my under eyes white. And I'm leaving that bridge of my nose white. This is the Kylie bronzer in khaki. This is such a cool bronzer. Again, disclaimer, I got this 50% off. I would not pay full price for this. And you guys, if you want a good deal on makeup, wait until Black Friday. But do you see how... Oh, you guys, I, I can't. Like, I just... When something blends like that, it's so beautiful. It, I love it. The artist in me is just crying and screaming. I love it. I love it so much. That's so pretty. Going in with even more layers. This is the warmer shade of the, the contouring sticks. And adding even more depth to those cheekbones. And now with the darkest, I believe this is the last layer I put on. Who knows? This was the longest process of this entire makeup look. Was creating these cheekbones. Now I'm using a super tiny brush to blend that in. And barely blending it in. And I did want to take a little bit of that teeny tiny bit and just sculpt out a little bit more of an eye socket for myself but then I noticed oh my goodness I am making that eyebrow bone look like it's larger on my face than it was before so I went over that with a little bit of the powder and I'm darkening up the only reason I went back in to add more darkness to my nose is because I really was not happy with how wide the bridge of my nose was still looking. I really wanted that fine line down my nose. Now put a little bit of bronzer on your bottom lip. Now I'm going in with the highlighter of the KKW highlighter and leave it. Just leave it. Create as straight of a line as you can and then just leave it. Don't blend it in. You can see how much that pops. And yet again, you know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all about the layers. It's all about the layering with this look. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go in with the blush. And the blush I'm using is the Kitten Baby from the Kylie Collection. It's the pressed blush powder. This is a really cool blush. It's so cool because it's sort of like that guava color from e.l.f. But it's in a powder and it's light. Like it goes on very subtle. The color is very subtle. That's why I like it so much because I can put it on top of these concealer patches and it doesn't darken up the concealer. I still get that brightness from the concealer and that's why I like it. Now to go in with a deeper color, I chose the e.l.f. in the color 
bright pink. Oh wait, not there yet. Okay, not there yet. This is the Hourglass Ambient Powder. Look how bright that is. This powder was designed to cover fine lines, but also it has the effect of really brightening up that face. I mean, wow, that is bright. I kept the brightness on my face just to the center. Now we're going in with that e.l.f. blush. You guys, this e.l.f. blush in bright pink is really cool. It's like a bright Barbie pink color. And look at how that shows up on top of the Kylie and on top of the bronzer that we put on. I mean, that really pops. It's also a cool tone blush. So it is not changing the brightness of our concealer, which is great. Now going in with the highlighter. For highlighter, I chose another e.l.f. cosmetic product. This is the Moonlight Pearls. And I would compare this to the MAC highlighter in, I have no idea what the name of, in Soft and Gentle, which was super popular color because it's so pretty. What it is, it's kind of a creamy, like, tan, but in a highlighter. So it goes on great over top of makeup. Okay, now let's add that Essence Eyeliner Pencil in, uh, what was this? Nude. It's in nude. Just go for the nude. Put that in your lower eyelid. Now I also went and dabbed this just on the tip of my nose and on my inner eye and wow this makes such a difference to brighten and open those eyes remember this filter is called cute baby cute baby so we need that brightness on the eyes and i think this pencil did it for us if you learn nothing from this tutorial it's that add a nude eye pencil to your inner eye and wow you will get those doll eyes those cute baby eyes i also put that pencil on my bottom lip and this is going to be tough to explain, but basically basically, I used the Kylie Lip Pencil from Ulta. It's the Ulta exclusive. It's called Alt in the color Ulta Beauty. Line my lips with that. Then I used this Essence Whiteness Powder, and I put that where the highlight of a lip would be. So if my lips were naturally full, where would the highlight sit on my lips? I also used that underneath the bottom of my lip where it starts to go down into my chin. I used that to lighten it up. And if you looked really close, you would see that it's almost white <laughs> underneath my lip. Underneath my bottom lip is almost white. Then it goes into that brown shade that I lined my lips with and I only lined the very bottom and then a little bit on the top and that was just to give it a little bit more dimension and that is the brown pencil from NYX. For the lipstick I am using Modesty in Cream Sheen Lipstick by MAC. That is one of my favorite lipsticks right now. I feel like I could wear that lipstick every day. And now going back in with that brown NYX lip pencil to, or what am I actually doing? I actually think I have the nude pencil right now. Okay, so what I did was I created roundness on my lips. This is to copy that filter, exactly. It's very round at the bottom, very round at the top, almost no Cupid's bow. Yes. Okay. Here it goes. Here's the nude pencil. And did you see how my lip looked fake? It looked like it was overdrawn, but I am going to fill in the natural contour of my lips with white to bring those to the surface, if that makes sense, because white appears as if it's closer to you and black appears as if it is farther away. If you put something white on your face, it's going to look like it's closer. If, it, if, if you put black on your face, it's going to look like it's farther away. So I'm just playing with that. All right, I guess my look is done. Don't forget to subscribe, please. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Bye.